Today we're going to go through the Boss World Light Duty MIG range. This MIG range consists of three models. There's a 126, which has a 10 amp plug fitted, and that machine will weld up to a 3 mil plate. There's a 156, which has a 15 amp plug fitted, and that'll weld up to 5 millimetre plate. And then there's the 186, which has a 15 amp plug fitted, and that'll weld up to 8 millimetre plate. What we're going to do today is actually unpack the machine. I'd like to show you uh, what's included in the range and uh, also set up the machine for both uh, gasless wire operation and gas shielded operation. Okay, so the contents of your light duty MIG will include the power source, a 3 metre MIG gun, which has a Euro connector, an earth lead, gas hose and hose clamps, a small selection of MIG consumables and some drive rollers. The drive rollers you'll find, one will be set on the machine and there will be a spare in the box. And there's also a operation manual as well. Now we're going to set the light duty MIG up for using solid wire and gas. So the first thing we need to do is check the drive roller. So we need to remove the drive roller. This one's for gasless wire. This one's for solid wire. Now we're running 0.8 solid wire in this. So we need to have the correct groove in it, which is a smaller groove. Locating the keyway, pushing it on, reapplying the nut. And again, we need to change the polarity from, so we need to change the polarity to so that the torch runs on the positive terminal. So we've got the torch cable here. It's currently on the negative because we were running gasless wire a moment ago. So we need to switch these cables across. making sure the wing nuts are nice and firm. So now we're set up uh, to run this machine with gas and solid wire. Now we're going to put the wire on. So we need to remove the coupling. Put the wire on, making sure it's the right way because the wire will feed off the bottom. Re Reapply the cover. Apply the spring, washer and nut. Just a nice little bit of tension on that. Locate the end of the wire, our MIG pliers, pulling that off, making sure we don't release the wire, cut the end off, and then feed it through the tube, releasing the top tension roller, and feeding it into the outlet guide tube until it protrudes an inch or two past the Euro coupling. Redo the tension, set on around about number three. Now we apply the MIG gun with the coupling. Push on the Euro connector. Make sure that's nice and tight. We're now going to turn the machine on and feed the wire through. So you pull the trigger. Now the wire's out. The next step will be setting up the gas. First of all, what we need to do is remove the cap. We've got the regulator with the flow gauge. 
Now, we need to turn, put this on very quickly because what we'll hear is we will hear some gas discharging as it passes through the valve. Nice and firm. We need to tighten up the nut using a spanner. And then what we do is we've got the gas hose and the two hose clamps. So we slide both hose clamps on, put the gas hose on the machine, put the gas hose on the nipple, on the regulator, and then we slide the clamps over the nipples, and with the pliers, we then tighten up the hose clamps. Then what we need to do is we need to adjust the pressure. So the gas flow, we'll set that around about five litres per minute. And that's how we set up the light duty MIG using the disposable bottle of gas. Now the last thing we need to do is insert the earth lead, which goes into this DINS connector here. We simply locate the groove, push it in, Tighten that up nice and firm, and now we're ready to weld. Okay, now that we've set the machine up with gas and solid wire, we've made an adjustment to our volts and our wire feed speed to suit the material that we're welding. Now we're ready to go. To make things easier, what we can also use is some anti spatter spray, which we simply apply over our weld area. That will help the release of the spatter on the job. The other product we have is nozzle dip. Now with a nozzle dip, what you can do is simply dip your nozzle in, pull it out. What that does is applies a coating inside your nozzle and your contact tip and it extends the life. Now to welding. Making sure you wear all your safety here. And it's really as easy as that to MIG weld using gas and solid wire.